Hi, I'm Gary Colton, and I'm recording this video four months into the COVID-19 pandemic. And what I'm really interested in at the moment, and I'm watching very carefully, is the personal responses to the effects of the pandemic and how that is influencing the way that businesses are responding to the pandemic, which is a form of natural disaster. And usually in the aftermath of a natural disaster, like a hurricane or a tornado or a wildfire, where businesses and homes are destroyed, you can observe three different responses. The first are what I call the victims. And these are people whose homes have been destroyed, their businesses have been destroyed. And it's almost as if they are suffering from PTSD. They're frozen. The, they, they need some form of therapy. Now, as an executive coach, I, I cannot give these people help. I don't have the skill set, but I do know people who do. If you need uh, introductions to people who can help you, let me know and I'll see what I can do for you. The second group of people, their response to a natural disaster, and you can watch it happening right now, those that hope they can ride it out, they are furloughing staff or, or laying them off. They are cutting costs everywhere across the board. They're not reaching out to their customers and potential customers. They're in some kind of lockdown mentally. It's as if they're like a rabbit caught in the headlights. And my heart goes out to them just as much as it does to the victims. But when you look at the immediate aftermath of a natural disaster, there's about 40% of people that respond very differently. They're the ones that go into the rubble, not to pick out pictures of family, although they do that as well. They're the ones that are beginning to get materials to build a shelter. Within a few days, you'll feel, see people um, trying to create new businesses, just selling what they can even for pennies. They're adapting and adapting to the changing new reality, not hoping that they can go immediately back to the old one. And they're not relying on people to get them there. They're about 40%. And I call these the roaring 40%. Now in business, they tend to be the people who are always looking for the future and how they can adapt into it. And they're always asking the question, what if? What if we create something new? Will the market want it? What if we change the way that we manage our teams? What if we change our IT? They're always asking this question, what if? The problem is, why wait until the market tells you it likes it or doesn't? Why not try and build the highest definition business radar you can possibly have? And to do that, to build a radar that can look at the internal in innovation and the internal culture of your business and you, your marketplace and your existing customers, and also those intangibles, those things that you can't actually see yourself and your business can't see. You just, it's hidden, it doesn't exist. What we know is that diverse teams will always outperform one expert or a team made up of very similar people. There's decades of research. And we even know now diverse teams like Formula One racing teams and universities and engineering companies are coming up with novel ways to manufacture ventilators for the sufferers in intensive care units of the COVID-19 infection. So how can we bring diversity into your business so that you create an early detection radar system? Well, the Alpha Groups have been hosting executive boards around the globe for 10 years. We're now supporting hundreds and hundreds of businesses worldwide in 35 nations. What do our members get? They get 
business resilience, because we look at all aspects of their business, everything together. And from that, business growth. And they are stronger together than they are separate. Our motto is, none of us is smarter than all of us. And what we find, and it never changes, the route to a solution for a member's problem always lies inside the room. So what I'd like to do is invite you to be curious about what it could be like to gain the benefits of becoming an Alpha Group Executive Board Member. And there are two ways, two easy ways you can do that. First, you can look at the link attached to this post, which is to my diary. And we can have a 20 minute curiosity conversation. I don't do selling. I just want to know about you, your business, your aspirations for growth and business resilience. And then if we can add value, I can tell you a little bit about how we do that. The second thing that you can do is look at the second link in this post. We are holding an open webinar to all kinds of businesses who feel they might benefit by tapping into this none of us is smarter than all of us principle and contemplating becoming an executive board member. I'll leave you with one thought. Doing nothing will change nothing. If you're not reaching out to other businesses, if you're not reaching out to potential clients, if you're not adapting the offer that you make, someone else is. Why not you? Thank you very much for your time.